you hate doing captions and so do I. It's downright tedious and time consuming. But I want to throw this out there. If you don't want to go through the hassle of going on Facebook, like I will have you do tonight, please feel free to use my referral link. It is rev.com. It's a transcription and caption service. It's quick and easy. It's pretty affordable. It's like $1.25 per minute. And I spend anywhere on average from eight to $9, but that's on like an eight to nine minute video. So it's a great service, but honestly, it does add up over time, especially if you do videos on a regular. So you might want to look into what I'm going to show you tonight, which is through your Facebook business page. You must have a Facebook business page in order to make this happen. So first and foremost, this is how the show will go. I will show you where to get these captions on your Facebook page. Then I'll go into how to create captions on um, like Premiere Pro, um, Instagram posts. Actually, I won't be using it to do Instagram posts um, because I usually create like a vertical video for those. So I don't actually have those up. But I'll also show you how you could put them on YouTube and LinkedIn. So let's get started. Let's head to your YouTube or Facebook page. And I'm going to bring that up. And I am so sorry about this. I just recently got this mic and I'm trying to see if it's even something I want to keep in front of me like this because I am seeing myself having to look over and I don't like that. So here's the thing. Okay, so I have my um, I have my page up and I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. And we're going to go back to my Facebook page. This is my Facebook page. I will go, to, this is where you would go, which is on a, the left hand side. It's the manage page and you'll click on publishing tools. And then from there, it'll pop up in just a second. You'll go to creator studio and creator studio is basically all of where your content is housed that you've posted online all your videos basically so just for an example I have this um, video that I, I posted it was a preview to the Niwer, um lighting video which is you should definitely check that video out it was a demo that I did but I'm gonna go ahead and click on this or actually I'm gonna go to drafts oh no drafts and as you can see, this is a draft. I have not posted this video. And here you're gonna to go to details and you're gonna click on CC. And as you can see with the auto generate captions, the on button is on, but in most circumstances, you will have to actually physically turn this on. And that's on in order to get the auto generated captions, which you will see right here, which is at the bottom of this page. Also, um, um, it says here you can you don't have to add captions until I review. You can do that. That's just a personal choice. It doesn't really matter to me. Um, I tend to just keep that um, off. Also, you have the upload, which is basically where you can, you have a file yourself that you can upload that has the timestamps and everything that can be added to the video. Then you have the option of writing captions. Writing captions is good if you want to do them by hand. I say you shouldn't, but this gives you an option. So down here at the bottom, it's the added captions. You'll go to edit this was created from the auto generate and here you can basically review the captions that you created for your that was created from the auto generate and you can go ahead and make um, corrections here and you can make you can adjust the time as you can see here on the right hand side you can also um, make an adjustments you can you know correct whatever um, is on the video that doesn't sound right you can you know place the punctuation punctuation where it needs to be which that happens a lot so 
if you're particular like me at times, I would go in and make the corrections. But for the sake of this video, I will not. So once you're done with that, you'll go ahead and exit out. We'll save and exit out. And then you will click download here. And you'll go ahead and it will download the file that you use for that particular video. Or yeah, it will download uh, the captions for that particular video. So once you're done with that, you have the option. Before we get to Premiere Pro, you have the option of going to your YouTube page. And here I have the demo. I would click next for video elements. And I'm actually going to delete this because that was. I had already so just just pretend that you clicked on this screen and you just have the word add here. You'll click add. Then you'll go to upload file. And of course, you'll select the subtitle file type with timing because your file does have timing on it and you'll click continue and you'll go ahead and click on it and it will go ahead and populate and it will be added to wherever your timestamps are within the video. So this is just fantastic. And so as like on the Facebook page, you can go ahead and make corrections. You can adjust the time to, um, but you don't really have to do that. If you already did it in Facebook, you don't have to redo it in this video or for this video or for on this uh, platform. So once you're done, you'll click on that and then you'll obviously save and then you'll make the video public. So say for example, you want to go ahead and have your subtitles or captions on your LinkedIn video. You will go ahead and click on the video that you plan to have. And then you'll hit select caption here and see you have the SRT file here. So you'll go in, find your file that was downloaded, hit captions, and there you go. You got captions on your LinkedIn video that you that you plan to post. So easy, 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 easy. And pl plus you give people the option of if they don't want to read with, with captions, they don't have to. They can turn those off. So that's a great thing about having that file there is that they have the option. But say, for example, you want to basically burn, I'm going to delete this. Basically, you want to burn your, your captions into the video. So as you can see, here's my demo video here again. I created a sequence here for it. But I'm going to go and import, and I'll go back to file. And then all I'm going to do is drag and drop. And in there, you can, you can, you can change the size. You can, you can also change how it looks. You can go here. You can also change the position of where it'll be in the video, but it's, Actually, I had to go to the front of the video. So as you can see here, the, I already have captions on this video, but to give you an example, this is the one that I'm working with here. And so you have this size there. You can change the size. You can also make it look more transparent. So maybe 80 is usually what I go for. So. Yeah, there you go. You got it. So you could change the font, of course, which is awesome. And yeah, you could change the color and all that good stuff. So that's that's a great thing. I I like that option of being able to burn. So you go ahead, hit save, and all that good stuff. So hey, here's a free and accurate video to promote, you know, accessibility to those that are hearing impaired, to rank higher in SEO, to also create better engagement with your audience, as well as, you know, creating, um, 
videos that people can watch without the sound off. That's always great because I do catch myself re watching videos with no sound. So those are just some things to think about. But again, if you don't want to go through all the hassle of doing this, you can always go to rev.com. You can click on my referral link in the description and you'll get $10 off your first order. So, hey, you have a couple options you can use here. Just it kind of, if you want something that's quick and it's in 100% accurate, I would definitely go with rev.com. If not, if you're willing to kind of bend and you need something that's a little bit more affordable and free, you can always try this method. So if anything, please feel free to um, follow me on my social media, Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, all that good stuff. It's all in the description. If you can also um, follow, Add your, add your email to my email list. Um, I have some things coming down the pipe and I want you to be the first to know about it. So please feel free to go to my website at tiffanystacy.com and you will be able to, to go ahead and add your email to that email list. And also, not to forget, I will be back next week. Um, I'm probably gonna get more into this live streaming stuff once I kind of get the kinks out. So bear with me, everybody. I'm working on it. So if anything, I'll see you guys next week and have a happy and safe rest of your week. All right. Bye-bye.